Okay guys, I'm vlogging. Okay, I'm gonna start vlogging no matter what. I have talked about this before. I've talked about this recently a little bit on my Instagram and my TikTok, which if you're not following me on either, you need to go follow me right now on Instagram and TikTok at the dot Hannah Jensen. Okay. I feel like I hold back from posting so much content because I'm insecure about the way I look because this right here, this is what I look like, like 95% of the time. Okay. All my photos and videos of me looking like so fucking good is like the 5%. Okay. <laughs> I'm a mom. I have an 11 year old daughter. Yeah. I look like a mom most of the time. Okay. A tired mom. Cause I am anyways. Um, but I want to vlog and I, I want to be consistent and I'm literally the number one reason why I'm not is because well I'm a little lazy too I'm not gonna lie but number one reason why I'm not consistent on YouTube TikTok Instagram is because I'm so like controlled by the way that I look I feel like a lot of pressure to look good all the time also internet people are mean sometimes probably not you the most of, most of you are pretty nice to me actually but there's a lot of people who are fucking mean and like People love to be mean about people's appearances. So weird. I just, I can never fathom having that type of like brain. Like, I don't know. I think it's like a mental disorder if you're that type of mean. If you're a bully, like there's something wrong with you. But anyways, um, I'd be lying if that didn't affect me. So I'm going to start vlogging more consistently. I just want to show up as my true authentic self. I'm 30 now, so I feel more confident than ever. Finally, it's taken me so long to feel this type of confidence. But, um. Um, anyways, so hi, this is vlog number whatever. I don't even know because I used to do like daily vlogs or weekly vlogs and then I just kind of stopped for a while because life happened and whatever. But I am currently getting ready. Actually, I'm going to paint my nails because they need to be painted and I can't stand the way my nails feel when they're naked because they feel weak and thin and oh my god I just can't stand the way they feel when they're not painted so I'm gonna paint my nails right now I'm gonna do something cute for spring um Delaney Childs has like rainbow nails like each nail is a different rainbow color and I think it's so cute I'm very inspired by her I am gonna copy her but that's because I like her I'm gonna copy her nails but She's my inspiration. Shout out to Delaney Childs, my favorite, one of my favorite influencers. And after I paint my nails, look at my dog. <laughs> after I paint my nails, I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm going to go to the new salon. I have so much to tell you guys. We, my mom and I opened a new salon here in Orange County and, um, Technically, we're not open yet. Our, like, grand opening will be in May, which today's April, like, 17th or something? April 18th. So, we're almost in May. We've technically done, like, a soft launch, a soft opening, but we will have our grand opening in May. So, I'm gonna go to the salon today because we're gonna shoot some content because I'm gonna make some reels for our salon Instagram, and I need to have my makeup done for that, so... That's what I'm doing today. I just finished doing my nails. Did I show you already? I don't know, cause I'm filming this vlog for YouTube and then I'm like switching and I'm filming a mini vlog for TikTok. But anyways, this is how my nails turned out. They're a little different. This hand is like pink, orange, yellow, blue, purple. And this one is pink, orange, yellow, green, blue. I feel like I like this color scheme better. And I just feel like this is so cute for spring. Um, I did copy Delaney Childs. Her nails are similar. And I just thought they were so cute. So I'm sorry I'm a copycat, but uh, inspired by her nails. But now I'm going to do my makeup and I'm just going to take you guys along this journey with me. It should be pretty quick actually because I've been doing my makeup differently lately because I'm getting older and I am just, you know when you do the same thing for so long and you just get so tired of it? So um, that's me. But let me go get my little beauty sponge wet and then I'll show you guys how I do my makeup lately. Okay, got my sponge wet and now I'm gonna start doing my makeup. I'm just gonna kind of chit chat with you guys while I do my makeup too. So this is gonna be like a very casual get ready with me within this vlog a little handheld mirror my daughter comes in my room and she loves to sit here at my vanity and use all my stuff of course but then when i come in here to get ready my stuff's like all dirty and messy i'm gonna turn this light on behind me and see if it makes a difference uh kind of like 
that. Um, anyways, I always start with eyebrows. I've been taking prenatals lately because I saw this. You're not going to blame me when I tell you the next part, but I saw this girl on TikTok and she was talking about her hair and she literally had the prettiest, most luscious, blonde, long hair. And she was talking about like how she gets her hair so long and gorgeous and beautiful and she said she takes prenatals and she said she takes the Target brand. So I started taking the Target brand prenatals and I haven't even finished one like container yet. I'm like maybe halfway through mine now. And I've seen the biggest difference in my eyebrows. My eyebrow hair is like so much thicker. Even my 11 year old daughter was like, mom, your eyebrows are thick. So that makes me really happy because I was definitely a victim of the over plucking in the early 2000s. So it's nice when people are noticing my thickened up eyebrow hair. But I'm starting with my brows and I just like to use a clear brow gel. I'm not even going to fill in my brows for this look because that's just what I've been doing lately. So I'm using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter and then what do I do? I forgot. I'm tired. I've been working non-stop the past three days. Friday I had a photo shoot with Tuner Colt and then I went to my daughter's carnival at her school and then Saturday I worked an event in Bone Mont with Nitro Circus and Ashok Energy. I did like a promo model event, which if you've been following me for a long time, then you already know that I used to be a Rockstar girl and I used to tour with Rockstar Energy and we would do like the whole Supercross circuit and Lucas Oil off-road races. So I was a very seasoned um, touring promotional model back in my day. And I haven't really done much of that lately, especially with the pandemic. But now things are starting to return back to normal and I am doing promo jobs here and there still. But honestly, Honestly, like companies don't want to pay shit and there's so many girls who will do promo jobs for almost nothing which is so irritating because girls like me who have like a lot of experience and charge you know a lot because we are worth it brands rather book a girl that'll do the job for like $75 versus like someone like me so anyways when the price is right I will still do promo modeling and that's what I did this weekend so I'm so tired but okay no foundation I'm just going straight in with concealer and this is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade light peach and I love this concealer it's so good and it's drugstore so it's affordable and then I just blend this out with my beauty sponge um which is also kind of new to me because usually I'm obsessed with using makeup brushes but I've been loving the beauty sponge lately specifically this one which is from Uve can you read that I think it's called Uve Beauty their sponges are so soft and so much better than a beauty blender not even gonna lie but anyways um since I'm getting older I'm 30 now and my skin just isn't what it used to be and that's okay but because of that I haven't been liking foundation on my skin plus it's been a little hot here in Orange County and you know what it's like to wear foundation when it's hot it's uncomfortable so I use just concealer because I'm kind of just using it as like light coverage and covering the areas that need it and then also just like brighten up these parts of my face a little bit and conceal my dark under eyes because a bitch is tired and then like this part of my face like this whole part of my face the majority of my face doesn't have any foundation or anything so it's kind of just my natural skin which looks better because now that I'm older heavy foundation just doesn't look good on me it looks heavy and it makes my skin look even older than it is and it's uncomfortable especially when it's hot so I've really been like just the concealer under the eyes and on the chin my skin looks a lot more natural and it feels better and then I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury contour wand which honestly is worth the hype I get what people say though about the packaging sucking because the packaging does suck it's like messy but I do like the applicator like the way you apply this this is very watery also but it's like a true contour pretty much I do my whole face routine minus the foundation so my nose is running sorry I just do everything but the foundation and when I first tried this because I know other girls do this it's not like I invented this um when I first tried this I was terrified because I don't know I just didn't trust that it would look good but it actually looks great and I'm glad I tried it so don't be afraid to try new things because you might love it but anyways while I blend this out I'll tell you guys what I've been up to lately um obviously I'm a mom so I've been 
I'm always busy with my daughter. She's a cheerleader, so busy with her cheer stuff. Um, she's 11 now, so life is a little different, you know? It's not like it is when you have a baby or a toddler, which you know what is so weird? <laughs> I feel like, you know, we all see those influencers or mommy bloggers or whatever. Um, I feel like everyone's on social media always talking about their toddlers or their babies, but then I feel like nobody talks about their preteens. Maybe because I'm like rare, you know, it's rare that someone my age has a preteen, you know, and the majority of people on the internet influencers creators are my age you know and it's rare for us to have preteens does that make sense so maybe that's why nobody really talks about having preteens online because the people that online don't typically have preteens anyways i just feel like nobody talks about having a preteen so i'll talk about having a preteen because it's pretty crazy and if you have a preteen you know what i'm talking about they are moody hormonal especially girls but they're fun and i've actually been pretty sad because she's like outgrowing me Obviously not 100%. She still needs me for everything, but she's starting to become a teenager and she's getting more independent. She wants to like be alone more and she doesn't want to like cuddle with me as much, hardly ever. She did cuddle with me last night on the couch. That was really nice because it's been a while since she's wanted to cuddle with me. She doesn't let me hug and kiss her anymore. She still wants to hang out with me and do stuff with me. But when we went to her carnival at her school on Friday, like she was more into like running around with her friends than she was with like me. Um, you know, so just realizing that it's changing and I don't have a little kid anymore. She's getting older and she wants less to do with me and more to do with her friends is like really sad. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you've seen me go to the desert lately with her dad because her dad and I are not together, but we still get along pretty well. And occasionally, not as much as we used to, but occasionally we still do stuff together as a family. We've actually been doing more together as a family lately, which is nice. But um, we went to the desert together last week and it just made me sad. I don't know. I'm kind of going off on a tangent because I'm not very very good at doing my makeup and talking so one second I also wanted to mention before I started this tutorial in this area that I'm doing right now the lighting here is so bad so this looks a lot more muddy than it actually is but I'll show you um, this finished look in natural lighting when I'm done it's just easier to sit here and do it but the lighting does not do this look justice anyways um, rare beauty blush in the shade hope this is worth the hype too so good but anyways um after our desert trip last weekend I came home like so emotional and I have not had baby fever and I have not like having another kid has kind of been like a thought before but it's never been something I've seriously thought about it's kind of just been like oh that would be nice if that ever happened maybe I don't know but I came home from the desert trip last weekend and I was like I want a baby I need a baby like <laughs> I don't know, it must be my biological clock ticking, but I was like, I want a baby now. So I don't know if I should even say this out loud because it's probably something I should keep personal. But I'm gonna talk about it anyways, because I don't care. Um, I asked my baby dad. <laughs> We're not together. I don't know what he's doing. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a girlfriend. And if he does, it's a secret because I don't know about it. But I asked him, I said, Would you have another baby with me? So um, maybe that'll happen one day. I don't know. It's not happening anytime soon. That's kind of where I'm at mentally is like, I kind of want a baby. Not today, not tomorrow, not next month, maybe next year, maybe two years from now. I'm 30. I'm going to be 31 this year in October. I kind of want a baby between now and 35 and I don't want two baby dads. You know, I've kind of been dating off and on for a while, but not seriously. The last person I dated seriously died. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's funny and that's like a nervous laugh because every time I say that out loud he died in 2019 but every time I say that out loud it just sounds crazy that I'm like <laughs> like I have to laugh because it's like hard to believe but anyways yeah I'm using the Maybelline fit me loose setting powder and I'm gonna set my under eye area that I put the concealer kind of just my whole t-zone and actually I'm gonna end up setting my entire face but yeah so I've dated one person seriously since my baby dad my baby dad and i actually broke up like when our daughter was like barely a year old and then we were kind of like off and on for many years but that's a whole nother story and i do think it's an interesting story but maybe i'll talk about that a different day but we've had a great co-parenting relationship for the last 11 years so that's good and that's really all that matters but 
in the last 11 years, I haven't really seriously dated. I don't know if it's like subconsciously I haven't really wanted to. The one person that I did seriously date literally died. And since then, I don't know. I just, I've gone like, I've done like casual dating. You know what I mean? But nothing, just never, nothing ever turned into anything, obviously. And I think that's partly the dudes that I dated. They just sucked. And it seems like nobody wants to, a commitment these days. Like everybody just wants to like hook up. I don't know. I've just had a horrible time dating. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's not me. I have no idea. I'm going to curl my lashes. And now where I'm at mentally, maybe I'll change my mind next week. I have no idea. I don't think there's anything wrong with changing your mind ever, but I just don't really want to have two baby dads, you know? My baby daddy and I have already had our ups and downs like any family does and um i'm sure he can say the same thing about me i don't want to have to get to know somebody else <laughs> I don't. I don't want to have to deal with a whole nother family. You know what I mean? Like, I'm good with the people that are already in my life. I don't want to add more people to my life and more kids and have to share my kids with somebody else and their family. And then the possibility of me breaking up with them and then having to go through like custody stuff with a different person. And then I have two kids that go to separate places. Like, I just don't want that. You know, I rather just have kids with the same guy. I already know his problems. I already know him. I already know his family. Like, you know what I mean? Not to say that I couldn't find somebody and have like a great, wonderful fairy tale relationship, but you know, even if I met like someone else tomorrow, I'm just using the Rockins Cosmetics Mascara because I love this wand. It's so good, but it's obviously old. And like, you know, when mascara gets old, it's like kind of dry and chunky. It's actually when I love it the most, but it's a little past that point. It's like replacing time. Anyways, just throwing on some mascara, but um, I forgot what I was saying now. Oh, if I met someone today, I would still have to like get to know them for at least two years before having a baby with them and then you know it's, ugh. And then even then like the honeymoon phase, you know what I mean? Like that only lasts so long and then you're just like a couple a normal couple with normal problems I'd rather just have one baby dad and if he was open to having kids with me Then I'd rather just have more kids with the same guy because that's just what I'd rather do So that's kind of where I'm at <laughs> in life right now mentally and i just like really want another baby also because zoe is getting bigger and a lot of people are like excited and happy for their kids to get older so that they can like live their lives i'm a mom i identify as a mom and i want to do mom stuff i'm not ready for my kid to be older and out of the house so i can like live my life i'm not a party girl i don't want to go party i don't want to drink i don't want to go on solo vacations i don't want to on vacations with just my friends. I want to be a mom. I still want to take care of babies. I still picture myself taking care of humans in diapers. You know what I mean? Like tiny humans in diapers, baby humans in diapers. I'm just not ready for that to be over. So I want more kids and I want them soon. And that's just what I want to do. So will this happen for me? I have no idea but I hope it does. And that's the direction that I hope my life is going in right now. So we'll see. Um, stay tuned for that. But anyways, I'm done with my makeup. It looks just very natural and simple, but looks better than no makeup. And I'm going to do a second coat of Oh my god, this is gonna be such a long portion of the vlog. I'm really sorry. This is Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume 2 Mascara, which is also really old and I need to replace. But um, yeah, and then I just put on some lip gloss and then we're good to go. I wish my Dior lip oil was in here, but it's not. So I'm gonna have to use a different lip oil because, oh. This one from Item Beauty is actually so good. I think this is what Addison Ray's company. It smells so good and it feels good this one is lip quip oh in the shade come through and then i'm literally just gonna spray in some dry shampoo from chlorine which i'm pretty sure i have a coupon code for this i don't know what it is off the top of my head but if it ends up if i figure it out oh my god sorry if i remember what it is i'll put it in the description box down below i'm very picky about my dry shampoo this one is so good and it's like gentle on your hair. I sprayed in, my hair looks a little gray right now, but oh, I can't breathe, sorry. I just um, let it sit for like 30 seconds and then I'll like dust it out. 
But um, this one's so good because my hair is so fragile and brittle and it breaks so easily. It feels like my hair just snaps sometimes because it's very like damaged. But this one, when I use other dry shampoos, they make my hair feel even more dry and brittle. This one doesn't. So that's why I really like this one. I'm going to the new salon right now. And I'm going to take you guys with me so you can see where it's at. Look at the... So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys in here so you can see. So this is the salon. Here's our little reception area. Lay salon, that's what we're called. There's all the stations. We still have some work to do, but it looks really good. And then down this hallway, that's a private room. And then these are the sinks. And then down here, restroom, another restroom. This is just like a fire escape right here. And yeah. That's what the salon looks like right now. It's our little coffee bar and our seating area and my mom. I ended up at the pool. After the salon, I had lunch with my mom at El Cholo and it was good. And then I picked my child up from school. She's over there, mad at me. And I'm at the pool now. Trying to get a tan, so my new bikini from Shein, which was in my last video about how to pose, how to take pictures, how to look good in a bikini. Um, I really, I love small bikinis because I don't want tan lines, but um, it's like 77 degrees outside. It's so nice. I'm just trying to enjoy the sunshine for a little bit before I go back home and clean the house because the house is such a mess. Do you need a countdown? Okay, ready? Three. Okay, one, two, three. Zoe's gonna see how far she can swim on one breath. She's a good swimmer. I have faith in her. She also surfs. Woo! You almost went the whole way. Good job, baby. Thumbs up. Woo! Thumbs down. Oh, why is it cold? It's not cold. It is cold. What? No, 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 no. No performing like that. Oh my god, it's so cold. No, you're not getting in. It's better. Ah, it's so cold. I'm gonna get in and then I'm gonna get out yeah. right away because I'm freezing. No, come on. You just have to get your whole body in. No. No, trust me. Remember how I when I got in, it was cold? Should I get my hair wet? Yeah. I have makeup on still. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's so cold. She is better once you get in. Mm -mm. Uh huh. Uh, my mascara running. Look at you. Come by me. For a little bit. Come here. It's not that bad. Yes, yeah, I told you. <laughs> Come here. I'm still doggy paddle. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> So cute and little, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you scratched my butt with your toenail? Is that your toenail? No, my thumb. Oh, that hurt. Like, it ripped my skin. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now. Okay. We just got back from the pool, and I definitely went underwater. Um... Pretty sure I got a video of myself going underwater. Got my face wet. My makeup still looks pretty good. I'm um, impressed. This is the makeup I did earlier in this vlog. No foundation, just the concealer, setting powder, Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. Wow, I actually thought Char Charlotte Tilbury contour wand was going to just like melt off in the water. Rare Beauty blush, literally my face looks like the exact same. And I haven't even touched up my makeup at all today. Even my mascara, which is not a waterproof mascara, but it stayed on. My eyebrow clear gel. Take her swimming. 